Hello everybody, this is Stannis here, back in The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we beat the Angler's Cave, or Angler's uh, Tunnel, and now we're going to be making our way through this area to find a few things that we can make, uh, make, I guess, done, make good on, on our way back to the next cave. So we go ahead and head up into this cave up here, we'll actually find a piece of heart, believe it or not. We can go ahead and press B to dive, and we will collect it just now. Very nice, indeed. So go ahead and head down now. And what you're going to want to do, you're actually going to want to head, head west now. So we'll go ahead and head this way. And if we go ahead and press Y, I think we'll go faster. No, it's A. Go ahead and press A to boost yourself. It'll move yourself a bit, fi uh, a bit faster. And I believe we can find both a seashell now, as well as a... Very specific thing that will help us in the long run for transportation. If we go ahead and go in here, we'll actually meet this guy. This is Manbo. We go ahead and speak to him. I am Manbo, son of the sun, child of the sunfish. Have you got no Karina? Ah, <laughs> then I can teach you my song. Bloop. Go ahead and learn Manbo's song. Well then, that was that that was odd. When you play my mambo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. Try this tune in the dungeons too. And since today's a special day, I'll let you warp to mambo spawn too. Cha cha cha. Yeah, uh, just uh, let's just pretend like that never happened. However, the song itself is extremely useful, and we can actually use it to unlock a warp point at one specific area. So we go ahead and head out of the cave. We can go ahead and head this way now. And I believe we will find a new secret seashell. Right here, there's nothing there. Don't bother going there. I just dove there just to show you there's nothing there. So down here, uh, this is basically a waterfall we can go down. If we go ahead and head down, we'll actually find a secret seashell if we go ahead and dive here. There you go. Now go ahead and head down this way. And you're going to want to go ahead and loop around the castle, like so. And suddenly, we have a very pink ghost following us. What is this? Very interesting. Anyway, go ahead and head down this way. Keep going. If you go ahead and boost, you'll make yourself there faster. Go ahead and dive, and you'll grab this piece of heart now. Yeah. Very nice. We're going ahead and making our way with these pieces of hearts. I actually want to go ahead and loop the other way around with the castle now. There's no way under that bridge. Alright. This is going to be taking a little bit. But I will actually see you guys back near Animal Village now. Alright, so now that we're back at Animal Village, you can actually see that this thing is still following us. But at Animal Village, there are actually a few things we can do. First off, we're going to want to go ahead and hand this hibiscus, not in this room, wrong room. We're going to want to go ahead and hand the hibiscus over to, I believe it's whoever lives in this room. Yep, there it is. Alright. She takes the hibiscus. She will have a request. She would like us to take a letter to Mr. Wright, who lives on the board of the Mysterious Forest. Should be easy enough. Alright. Alright. Now that we have the letter, we can actually go ahead and go to Mr. Wright's pretty much whenever, but that's not what we're going to do first off. Now first, before we go, we're actually going to head out of Animal Village. And we can actually go ahead and head over this way. Uh, preferably not doing that. So go ahead and head into this cave here. And you can actually go ahead and puncture this balloon. Go ahead and dive that way. Press B and you can grab this piece of heart. Very nice. I believe that's one more piece of heart to a full one. Alright, so now we're actually going to want to go ahead and head back down this way. 
and we should be able to find a interesting uh, little island type area. Specifically kind of a house, I guess. Uh, avoid those things if you can. Alright. Now if we go ahead and drop down here, we should actually be able to access this kind of bay type area. No, nothing of use here. Never mind about that. Even still, I believe there is a area we should be able to reach somehow. Not 100% sure where exactly it is. Let's go ahead and loop around actually, see if we can find it that way. As you can see, the pink ghost wants to go to a house. So we're going to go ahead and oblige it if we can. But real quick, we are going to go ahead and go un under this bridge. Under this bridge, we will actually find a fisherman. Let's go ahead and speak to him. Ah, uh, I see. Well, looks like he wants a fish hook. That's going to come into uh, fruition later. As you can guess, it's probably part of the uh, it's probably part of the side quest, the trade quest. So keep that in mind. Now, right here, we have a mermaid here that would probably want to speak to us. All right. So she wants her neck laid back. Or necklace back, and if we find it for her, she will give us a scale from her tail. Very nice. Now, a lot of this is, uh, I guess, underwater exploration now, because there's a lot we can do here, I guess. If you go ahead and head into this, uh, kind of underwater area, we can actually go ahead and enter this kind of cove-type place here. Go ahead and keep making your way through here, and go up. Once we're out, we can actually head into this kind of cave type thing, I guess. You walk in. Never mind, the ghost does not want to go in there. And the ghost is preventing us from actually exploring. Great. Alright, looks like we have no choice but to find the house. Keep going through this way. And we're going to go ahead and head out. So go ahead and surface up here. And now that we've surfaced, we can go ahead and loop around. As you can see, there's a statue of a mermaid there. I wonder how that would be useful in some way. Anyway, we have another piece of heart here. We can go ahead and pick that up. And we have another heart now. All right. Now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and head up here. This will basically bring us back to dry land. This is an area we have not actually been to in a long time, I don't think. Go ahead and avoid all of this mess here. Go ahead and actually head down here. There's a, a secret seashell we can go ahead and find in this spot. Place that bush, and here it is. Secret seashell. Come on. Now, if we go ahead and keep going, we can actually go ahead and loop around into a different area now. If we lift up this rock, we will unlock a new portal, which means we can now warp here. I'm going to just show you just to... Sh yeah, Martha's Bay, which is actually exactly where we need to be. I had no idea we were here. We'll go ahead and Pegasus boot and jump across this gap. This is the house she wants to go to. Let's go ahead and walk inside. This is the ghost's house. It seems to be reminiscing about a lot of this stuff. About her old life, probably. Very interesting, and also somewhat sad. Nostalgia unchanged. Didn't I just talk about nostalgia? Very interesting situation we're in. I can't move at all. <laughs> Boo-hoo. As you probably have guessed, this is the ghost of Martha, the, uh, person this bay is named after. Enough. Cemetery. Take me. My grave. Yep, it is time to go to the cemetery. She is ready to be laid to rest, I guess. We found a secret seashell in here as well. Now, real quick, I don't believe there's any benefit to doing it. But I'm going to go ahead and light this torch here, see what happens. Uh, death happens. Okay. No, no benefit to doing that, I guess. Go ahead and head on outside. And we're now going to find the cemetery. We should be able to loop around here, so go ahead and 
jump over this gap. That is not the rock's feather. Go ahead and jump over this gap here. And make your way up. Go into this little area here. And we should be able to, uh... Should be able to access the cemetery somewhere near here. Go ahead and warp to Mambo's Pond now. If you spoke to Mambo, you should have this pond unlocked. If you didn't speak to him, you will not be able to teleport there. Just keep that in mind. Go ahead and go down now. This whole pond here is not of use to us. It's just where Azora lives. Go ahead and open this rock up. And now we can go here in a practical way, way as in we can actually do things down here. And up here at the grave, this is where Martha will be laid to rest. Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. And yes, Martha gives us our second bottle. Basically, this bottle is a required item. It is impossible not to get that because this quest is required to move on through the game. Gads, it's the owl! Oot, it has been some time since I passed across, lad. No, it hasn't. It's been like ten minutes. You must dive in the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Oot. Very nice information, L. Now what I'm going to be doing, I am going to actually go ahead and make my way to uh, Mr. Wright's house. So I will see you there. So real quick, I believe we can go ahead and... Okay. Come on. It bounces. Oh, I guess I can just put one there. That works. So now, uh, I believe it's gonna be very sketchy, but we can go ahead and make the jump there. Get rid of this keys, jump across here, and grab the piece of heart. Very nice. We are getting a lot of pieces of heart. God dang it. Go ahead and manage the gap there. Jump, uh, go up these stairs. And we are now in the in the cemetery once more. Seems that we took a, uh, kind of loop here. But that also puts us closer to Mr. Wright. So let's go ahead and head up here. Go across this kind of area, I guess. Actually, I believe this would be a fine time to demonstrate Mambo's Mambo. So go ahead and play the ocarina with that specific song. And we should be able to warp, uh... Not at all closer. Never mind. No point in doing that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get Rock's Feather out. Uh, fall down a gap, I guess. And I'm gonna go ahead and head up here. Oh, Blue Ruby, I want that. Go ahead and grab that. Now we go ahead and go up here. I'm gonna go ahead and run all the way over to Mr. Wright's house. I think we can destroy these. No, we can't. We have to loop around longer. We'll go ahead and go the other way, actually. Most of these can't really harm you, as long as you just stay out of the way. The piranhas can harm you, but as long as you just, as I said, avoid them, you should be good. Go ahead and loop around here now. And now we should be able to reach Mr. Wright's house. Yep, Mr. Wright's house is just right here. No pun intended with the right. Go ahead and jump that gap and go inside. Mr. Wright is here, and we are going to give her him the letter. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy! And look, the letter came with a photograph. That's not a Zelda character! What is this? Mm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Mm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How will that be? That's all fine and dandy, I guess. Alright. 
And now with the broom, we can actually make our way back to Mabe Village. And we can give that to somebody. But I'd like to point out that it is uh, humorous to me that the goat gave Mr. Wright a picture of, Mi of Princess Peach instead of herself. That's just interesting. So real quick, we are actually going to go ahead and teleport to uh, Animal Village again. Because I'm going to actually speak to the goat again because she can give us a seashell in return for us having delivered the letter safely. Go ahead and head up this way, uh, go up again, and enter her house. Right in here. Go ahead and speak to her again. You got the letter to my dearest Mr. Wright. Bravo! I'm not kidding when I say this means a lot to me. I want you to have the seashells, thanks. Very nice. We are wrecking up the heart pieces and seashells in this episode. So now we're gonna go ahead and head to the, uh, head to Mob Village. Go ahead and, or Mabe. Is it Mabe? Mabe, Mabe? No, it's Mabe. Or Mob. I don't know. I'm just gonna pronounce it Mabe. Mabe's the connect, uh, Mabe as far as I'm concerned. My, my, my face was covered by my hand. Anyway. As far as I'm concerned, Mabe Village is the correct pronunciation. Anyway, go back in here, go ahead and go down, and find the old woman. She will actually give you something we actually found earlier, or uh, somebody asked for earlier. Go ahead and speak to her. And she will ask for the broom! For me? It is, isn't it? Yes, it is. She takes the broom, of course, and we go ahead and get a fishing hook in return. Very nice. So now, that reminds you of something, huh? Go ahead and activate the ocarina again. And we can actually go ahead and go back to... I believe... Yeah, Martha's Bay is where we want to go. Go ahead and go there. And once we reap Martha's Bay, we can go ahead and head back up towards the whole... Kind of oceanic area, I guess. Uh, lake, I guess you can call it. It's more of a lake because it's not directly connected to the ocean, is it? So what we want to do, we actually want to go ahead and find that, um... We're gonna go ahead and find that fisherman again. We're gonna avoid this dungeon. That's the dungeon we want to go to, but, uh... We don't really have much of a reason to go there yet. So we're gonna go ahead... And find the fisherman under the bridge. Here he is. Go ahead and jump on the boat and speak to him. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. He's going to catch a fish. Let's observe. My, that's a big one. It is not a fish. That's a necklace. But hey. Didn't the mermaid ask for a necklace? Let's go ahead and find her and give it to her. Alright, go ahead and head out here. And let's look for the mermaid. If, I, if you recall correctly, she had asked for a necklace. I'll go ahead and give it to her. Ah, that's it, my necklace. Give it, give it back. I will give you a scale, as I said. Let's go ahead and give it. There's not really much of a reason to keep it. Promise, you only take one. Well, there's a scale. But how will we use it? In past games, getting scales would mean actually kind of being able to dive underwater, but since we have the fins, uh, the fins are kind of what are meant for that. So now, we won't be able to do anything else with the side quest just yet, because in order to actually access this area, I don't know if you can see it, but we need an item we don't yet have. So, for right now, the trading side quest is at a standstill. Anyway, with that all done and said, I'm going to basically just kind of see if I can find anything else that we can cover up. If there's nothing else we can get in this episode, then I guess it's over. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so real quick, if you go ahead and go down here, you can actually go ahead and, uh, hold on. You can actually go ahead and jump this gap and go down into this hole. There was a piece of heart we actually saw in this area earlier that we could not get before. We go ahead and just 
dive through, or go through here, dive for that piece of heart, we can now grab it. Very nice. Alright. So, there are still a few more things we can go ahead and get done in this episode, actually, so I will see you at those things. Let's go ahead and actually pull out uh, the Ocarina. And we're gonna go ahead and teleport back to Ukuku Prairie. When we're there, we can actually go ahead and find something new at the claw machine. Alright, so now that we're at the claw machine, there are two things we want to get here. We want to go ahead and grab the Boo statue, so go ahead and... Just hold on a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get the shell first, because that is kind of more kind of imperative for us to guess. I get, I guess it benefits us more in the long run, so it's better if we have this first. The boost statue will be easier to grab anyway. All right, now that we have that done, go ahead and challenge it again. Go all the way up, of course. Go ahead and stop over here. Crane's gonna go ahead and lower. Please grab it. No! Ah, we're gonna have to go again. Alright. Boo statue, I don't remember exactly where the boo statue goes. So, I guess we're just gonna see. Let's go ahead and challenge it again. Go up. We're gonna wait for it to be in that exact spot again. Alright. And start moving it. Alright. It's gonna go ahead and start lowering. And it's gonna pick it up. Very nice. It fits quite snugly inside of the claw machine as well. It can't really get out. The holes in the claw are not big enough to drop it, really. So it's gonna go ahead and drop it down on the conveyor belt. And now we have the boo figurine. The boo. Alright, go ahead and head over, pick it up. Very nice. And also pick up the seashell as well. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, now there's another area we want to go to. So go ahead and actually teleport back to Martha's Bay. And if we go ahead and go over there, we should be able to find a sort of kind of... I guess... Staircase? I don't know exactly how to explain it. Well, that's exactly how you should explain it. It's, it's just a staircase. God dang it. Anyway... I can stop getting hit. Okay. That's all. That's all fun, isn't it? Where on the map am I? I want to be... Over... What? Where... Am I? I want to be over here, I believe. Yeah, that's where I want to be. So can I teleport somewhere closer to there? I thought it was at Martha's Bay, but I'm, apparently I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and teleport Seashell Mansion. We can actually go ahead and turn in some of our seashells while we're here, I guess. Might as well. Alright. Let's go ahead and go in here. And turn in some of our seashells, like I said. Give me stuff. I'm going to go ahead and rise. Is it going to reach, though? Oh, just barely. Let's go ahead and open the box, see what we have. It is... Another dungeon builder stone. Alright. Let's go ahead and just head back out. And now that we're out of here, we can go actually head down. Go this way. And you want to go over in this direction. Go down into this passageway here. And cross it to the... Uh, wait, hold on, no. I'm in the wrong area. And we should hopefully be able to find... A staircase of some type, but... I don't know exactly how to reach that area up there. Can we go through these trees? No, we can't. What are we supposed to do here? Let's go ahead and switch the feathers. Slice these up, maybe? Maybe we can find a staircase under those? No, not quite. Hmm, odd. I could have swore there was a way to... 
God dang it. I could have swore there was a way to actually reach that area there, but I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. Oh, don't tell me it was this staircase here. Oh my god. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way down here. Yeah, this has to be it. I don't know why I didn't go through here earlier. I, th I, I thought we were in this room before. I guess not. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep going through. Once you reach the staircase, go up. Now we want to go ahead and go across. Just avoid the uh, electric choo-choo jelly. And we have yet another one of these things. Go ahead and light the torch. And we have Mr. Problem Child again. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Totally not a benefit at all. Heh, <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha! Ah, take care, see you again. You know, he says take care. Honestly, I think he's honestly just a nice guy. If you think about it, he's just trying to help. Alright. So that all being done and said, I'm going to go ahead and actually just cut it off here, because this episode is a bit long, and I don't want it to be too long. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye